Vale. Vocabulario. Chicos, vocabulario esencial. Tenemos far away, lejos. You can say it with me or before me if you want to, just to practice, see if you know it. Far away, lejos. Near, cerca. But if you're saying the nearest or the furthest would be más cercano o más lejano. Ok. Lejos, cerca. Street, calle. Avenue, avenida. What about a block, like a block of houses? Un bloque, oh, that's very similar, un bloque. What about a complex? We could say complejo, also urbanización, okay, de casas. Roundabout, rotonda o glorieta, whichever you prefer. Traffic lights, semáforo, el semáforo, okay. Following, like the following street. Siguiente, ¿vale? Opposite, enfrente, enfrente de. At, when we're talking about distance, so that's, for example, if we say that's a hundred meters away. So, eso está a 200 metros. Oh, 100 metros, even. Eso está a 100 metros. O eso queda a 100 metros. So that, that's at 200 meters. Ok, so a with distance. Behind, detrás. Next to, al lado de, o junto a. Up until or until, hasta, towards, hacia. Okay, with this, this word, hacia. Do you know in Spanish we have, sorry, just different things coming in. Do you know in Spanish we have two words that are written the same way, but one has an accent over the I and the other one doesn't. Hacia, hacia, this one without an accent, means towards, the direction, no? hacia. But this one has an accent over the I. Hacia, hacia, and this one comes from the verb to make, okay, or to do. So that would be the past, hacia. For example, when we talk about weather, hacia calor, it was hot. Ella hacia el papeleo, she did the paperwork, okay, hacia. Hacia. In this case, we're going to use hacia. The emphasis is on the first a. Hacia. Mm -hmm. And now, verbs that we're going to use. Verbs. So, because we're going to use usted, these are the verbs and the, the form that we're going to use. So, vaya. Vaya comes from what verb? Ir. Okay. Vaya is you, usted, in a formal way, you go, okay? Also, I'll say this, another tip. If you want to avoid using usted, which you can, sometimes we can um, say things like, well, you take the first, um, it's not a command, it's like, and this is what you do, you do this and you do that to get to this place. It's not a command, it's which is just saying the steps. So you can use also, if you prefer, or if you're more comfortable, the, the tu form, okay? So you can say, vas por esta calle, okay? So just using the tu form, not in command. So you're just explaining what they have to do. Or you can use the command with usted. And by the way, when we say command, 
I know it sounds like, are you telling me what to do? But it is a command. You're saying, go in this direction and do this. Yeah, so either usted with command or the you form, which sounds like you're explaining the steps. See? So for this case, we're going to use usted. So vaya, go, vaya. Por ejemplo, go straight, vaya recto o vaya derecho. Derecho, another word, derecho is straight. For example, put yourself straight, put yourself right, derecho. Okay? But we also have derecha, which is, well, for you would be here. Derecha, no, for you would be here. <laughs> derecha is right. Okay? Izquierda, derecha. Izquierda, left, derecha, right. So in feminine, because hands are feminine, las manos. Izquierda, derecha. Left hand side, right hand side. La izquierda, la derecha. But derecho is straight. So go straight, ve derecho o eh, ve todo recto. In this case, vaya for usted. Vaya todo recto o vaya derecho. Okay? Hacia, towards, o hasta, up until, o until. ¿Sí? Coja, take, coja, o tome, if you prefer. Coja la segunda salida. Take the second exit. Coja la primera calle a la derecha. Take the first street to the right. ¿Sí? Gire. Gire. Turn. Gire a la derecha. Turn to the right. ¿Sí? At the end of the street, turn left. Al final de la calle, gire a la izquierda. Turn around. De media vuelta. So give half a turn. ¿Sí? De media vuelta. Pues, oh, está en esa dirección, así que de media vuelta y continúe por aquí. So, it's in this direction. So, turn around and continue this way. ¿Sí? De media vuelta. From dar. Dar media vuelta. To give half a turn. Continúe o siga. Continue. Continue this way. Continúe, siga por aquí. And this one, which you can choose whichever you like. I don't know if you... I think you do the same in English. Let me know. But sometimes we say, go up this road or this street or go down this street and the street is straight. It's not uphill or downhill. I mean, if, if it is uphill or downhill, great. Go up, go down. Suba from subir, suba, baje from bajar. But sometimes the, the road, the street is straight and we say, go down this road. <laughs> baje por esta calle. So if you hear that, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going downhill. We just say, go down this road. I don't know if you do the same. I think you do, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you hear, go up this road or go down, um, or on the map as well, if, we, if we're driving upwards, then we say, sube, if we're driving south, baje, okay, even though the road is straight. Vale, so you can choose, but if you're not comfortable with this, just say, vaya, recto, o continúe, o siga, ¿sí? Okay, so let's do a little scenario, just to practice, vale. Let's drive a little bit. Okay, vamos con el, vamos con el coche. Vamos con el coche. No sé dónde voy. I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Vamos a preguntar. Let's ask someone. Well, no, cars don't have this anymore. Perdone. 
¿Dónde queda el museo? Where is the museum? ¿Vale? Ok. So, to get to the museum, continue on this road, and then when you get to the roundabout, turn right, continue until the end of the road, and that's where the museum is. How would you say all that in Spanish? To get to the museum, para llegar, to arrive, para llegar al museo, continúe por esta carretera, en la rotonda o en la glorieta, gire a la derecha, y al final de la calle encontrará, you will find, you formal, el museo, o el museo estará al final de la calle. ¿Sí? Ok. Excuse me, I'm looking for a bank. Where is the nearest bank? Perdone, busco un banco. ¿Dónde queda, dónde está el banco más cercano? Yes, the nearest bank is about 50 meters away. El banco más cercano está, el banco más cercano queda a 50 metros. ¿Sí? Go straight, then the second street to the right. Vaya todo recto y la segunda calle a la derecha. ¿Sí? Ok. When you get to the traffic lights, turn right and then turn left. Cuando llegue, now we're using subjunctive. Cuando llegue, when you arrive, because it's cuando, cuando plus future, subjunctive. Cuando llegue al semáforo, gire a la derecha y después gire a la izquierda. Ok. Well, I think this is enough practice for today. So I hope you've learned um, how to ask for directions, how to tell directions, and some words that could mean different things with an accent. Um, and the new verb, maybe, or maybe you already knew this verb, quedar, very useful verb. Okay, chicos, pues muchísimas gracias. If you've liked the content, please, if you uh, hit like, I would really appreciate it and I'll continue to do more videos for you guys. Muchas gracias y un feliz día. Hasta luego.